Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. Today I've got three fabulous five packs to show you. Uh, Jurassic World isn't something I've ever gotten into. It seems now I have. Skyjacker Suspension five pack. Some of these are for next year by the look of it. Uh, Autobahn, Autobahn Express 5, or V. This seems to be the only 2024 one. The others are 2024 copyright, suggesting their 2025 releases. Are we into 2025 releases already? I'm sure soon we'll get mix one of 2025 in the main line, but for now, let's crack these three beauties open. I'll lie these down because gravity has its way with me sometimes. Transport trackers two from Jurassic World. Let's have a look at the card art. It's okay. Never really into dinosaurs, to be honest. I think because they were really forced on us when we were in primary school, you had to do everything dinosaur-y, didn't you? And uh, I opted out. I didn't turn up that day. <laughs> Just overkill. Just uh, a little bit like the pyramids, isn't it? I can't stand anything on TV concerning Egypt because there were too many school projects and it's a bit dusty and boring. Let's get on with the show. What's that? You probably know what that is. You've seen all the movies, haven't you? I haven't seen any of them. Actually, I saw, uh, was it the mid-90s? I saw Jurassic Park, or part of it anyway. I just couldn't get into them. It's got a little squeak to it. Reminds me of that thing that they created for Star Wars to replace R2-D2. Curious. I wonder if it's self-propelled. Don't know. One day I might actually see the movie. What's this? Seems to be a cheap gladiator adaptation. Hmm. Ooh. Don't know what they're trying to tell me there. Uni and Amblin. I don't know. Oh, there you go. There you go. Jeep Gladiator. By the back axle. Sweet. Hmm. New things to my collection. I think I've seen this around. I think I have this. It's the Jurassic Park. Another Jeep Wrangler. Not sure about that uh, windshield piece. I'm sure it's something to do with the movie. Maybe it's to stop dinosaurs bit. I don't know. And something even more curious. Looks like a specialized vehicle. What are they calling that? Mm. Another emblem. Let me know in the comments if you know more about this. Oh, I guarantee you know more about this one than I do. And another little helicopter to the collection. Looks more like a drone. I'm sure it's out of scale. Funky. Are they for more forward speed? I imagine they are. Funky. Will I need a fleet of them? Probably not. But we don't know yet. See how I feel when I get five of them. I'm sure five different ones will turn up sooner or later. That's how it rolls around here. Second five pack to show you. That's kind of interesting to me because uh, it's something I've actually avoided uh, a bit like the movie itself, but now we'll see. Skyjacker suspensions. It's the 50th anniversary of the Skyjacker thing. That's the car art. I'm more or less only interested in the van at the top of this five pack, the Ford panel van. It's a newbie to my beady little eyes. That's the card art. I've featured it. Sweet. Uh, Ford, Chevy, Ford, Jeep, Ford. Okay. That's another Jeep to today's lineup. See how I've sneaked the uh, Ford out of shot? Is that a new casting? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, firstly, this isn't. Skyjacker might be a new colour. I don't think I've seen this colour scheme before. It's 
quite nice. Charcoaly black with the golden red. I like it. Can you see the base? If I angle it just so. That's a nice addition to the Jeeps today. Uh, I've seen this one before, although having said that, when I put it in the collection today, or try to put it in the collection thinking it might be a double, uh, the one I do have that is reminding me of this might be completely different, don't know. It's the Super Duty F350. Sweet, and this is familiar, isn't it? Um, it's the Bronco. There's probably about 20 different Broncos now of this casting. Uh, 1972 Bronco. Looks like the roof's caved in a bit, but maybe not. No, that's okay. Matte black and mean looking, with a bit of chrome. And this one, again, I'd have to check. It looks familiar, but who knows. They kind of blend into one sometimes with the jacked upness. I like streetcars more than I like the jacked up thing, but if you do get a whole row, row of them in uh, the collection, they do look kind of uh, funky. It's got an unpainted base, Silverado written there on. And the van, I think this is a new casting. American vans always look a little bit sinister, and it's only because they feature them in a lot of movies where sinister things happen. They're always using one of these sorts of vans, aren't they? I suppose the uh, European movies, um, it'll be a Merc van, or in the UK, it'll be a Ford Transit van. But um, to me, these look more sinister than anything else. Ford panel van. Uh, copyright 1999 and 2016. Maybe they've just look, made it look so different that it's tricking me a bit. Ford on the back as well as Skyjacker. I like it. Maybe it's the wheels. Don't know. I don't know. The one I've been holding out for is this one because I like it. I like it a lot. Can you see? I don't have my, tram my camera on the little windy tripod anymore because it's propped up on top of a very large stack of drawers. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll put the spotlights back a little bit and give you a, a little peek as to how things are rolling around here. Um, if you're wondering how I find things so quickly, this might go really badly. This is where I keep all of this year's 1 to 100 as I move tripods and light stands away so they don't get knocked over. Uh, what are we? We're into September now, 2024, and we need more real estate folks. Step even further back. Mind the dodgy camera angle. Uh, yeah, in no particular order. I didn't know I was going to have visitors today, so I didn't tidy up. But, oh, there's another little sneak peek of the Super Kings down the back there for a future video or two. But yeah, that's so far the 1 to 100s. And uh, I'll sort them out just before a, a video review, a year review, I suppose. While we're here, um, that's almost all of the year 2000 catalogue. Once I get the last couple of pieces, they're on their way. Uh, I'll do a catalogue video for you. And rounding out the top drawer for no particular reason is some vintage Skybusters and some random working rigs that can't fit in the main collection. And we'll see these in a second. The Alfa Romeo's. Now that we're on the third and final back down there, watch your feet, mind your head, duck as you get in the squad car, pop the, the uh, mic, what you're not seeing is this little stuffed rabbit microphone and he's on a different thing at the moment because I'm not going to have my tripod, it's very messy behind the scenes for you today, what was I saying, ah, Alfa Romeo, I just 
decided Alfred Romeo was going to be the the main attraction today because I get to decide. It's my channel, <laughs> but uh, it's whatever takes my fancy. Um, this one has. Look at it. Ah, that was a little bit of a digression, but anyway, we're here now. Auto Barn Express Five. For is this the one with the? Yeah. So this feels like the official 2024 because it's got 2023 on the back. We're featuring the Audi, Porsche, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, and Volkswagen. Now the Volkswagen Transporter, as usual, has a variant. And the other day, I thought I picked up the variant. And when I got it home, I realized I already had it. So I'm still on the hunt for the one I don't have. Naturally, we're always on the hunt for that one we almost got. Even worse, we're on the hunt for the one somebody told us about. We haven't, we haven't been uh, privy to its, uh, of the proof of, his, of, of its existence. Try saying that when you're drunk. Porsche. Strange colour to paint a Porsche. 2007 on the base. It's the 911 GT3 2007. Pretty looking car. Not sure about the colour, but I'm sure it will go really well next to its buddies from previous years. Fleet size turned up uh, in the Audi e-tron. I'm wondering if that should have a light bar. Probably. You know how some cop cars go kind of, I don't call them undercover, low profile. So they're a cop car just minus the light bar and they've got lights in the grill and everywhere else. But I suspect the real thing is a light bar. Uh, the transporter. So, yep, you've got the chain and the spare tire in the bag in the back and then the variant is minus all of those things. Some German the side for red service. It's good. The colour reminds me of the uh, Matchbox construction series now. Maybe it's all to tie in with that. Second to last one, I've got some Fiat to show you as well. Look at that! Loving that colour. It's so summery. It's just turned spring here in Australia, so therefore the Northern Hemisphere is turning into winter, but that feels summery to me. Here are the other colours of this one. Oh, they're going to look so good together. Uh, moving parts, obviously a different casting, but um, he'll go right next to them. And before the other two, we've got red and black. Black on black. And of course, fish, fished straight out of the drawer I just showed you for uh, this year's mainline is a kind of a pastel -y orange. Are they? Oh, they're just in camera too. Uh, Alfa Romeo, this is what I'm here for. Ooh la la, look at that. Grey interior, I don't mind that. I like black interior, but you can never see the details as I angle for a good shot in the lights for you. Perfect for the wheel choice. Bit of detail back and front. I love this thing. I had a 76 Alpha Sud many, many years ago. Thrashed the living daylights out of it. Ooh, is that? No. Oh, thank goodness. Remember all the dramas we had with the moving parts video I did? Um, ripping the, the black paint off the Jaguar roof. Really, really annoying. But the little blue guy escaped. Got a red one and a white one. Um, color variant or, or interior variant on that. You've got chrome and you've got black. They're the only ones I have. I'm sure they're all variants somewhere along the line. <laughs> the latest uh, Alfa Romeo is of course the moving parts. Fabulous thing. It's great. Um, I wonder if they bring it out in something fancy like the Collector Series, maybe. Or uh, 
Oh, I was supposed to show you the, the run of the mill. Remember that one? This is the only one I have. It's a bit banged up. But I have other colours. I've got the Coca Cola one that looks a bit like that in the red and black, or red at least. And of course, colloquially, Go Eagles. It's the local Australian Rules football team. Um, other Alfa Romeos, while we're here, they're getting harder to find. It's the red version, and I think there's a Coca Cola version of that one as well. He's out of shot now, isn't he? I can't move back now. I have to come up with a, an ingenious way to rejig my studio yet again um, to get it how it was. I could maneuver all sorts of different angles of the camera. That wasn't always perfect, but at least you got to see everything. Now I've got to shuffle a little bit more. Probably my least favourite Fiat casting, but they're in the mix. And, oh, an old favourite. Look at that. From the 80s. Wow. And a couple more. That's a beauty. It's really nice. Julia. And probably the coolest Alfa Romeo you'll ever see. Is that the 2C? I think so. Ooh. That's hard to read. There we go. 4C. Hmm. Do they have a 2C? I think so. The name rings a bell. I stood next to one of these in Alf Barbagallo um, forecourt. Alf Barbagallo here in Perth is a very fancy car dealership. But on the weekends you can walk around and they're all parked outside and you're not hassled by anybody. You can just check out the eye candy. And it is so short. It felt like it was like knee high. I could never get into that. And I don't think they have aircon either. So um, it's for the purist, I think they call those people. Not one of those. I like my air conditioning. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. That's, um, that's going to keep me busy. There's a lot to look at and uh, a lot of things to find homes for in the collection. Fabulous. See? Told you. Three fabulous five packs from this year and next year possibly. We'll figure it out as we go. It's so important to me to to find out where the main line sit, like this one. I have to put him straight back where he came from today. So so as not to muck up my uh, year in review in review for 2024. First word problems. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.